There they are as well. Okay, they're a bit busy lately. Back on the farm, getting this dried food off the rack. Got it covered up in plastic here. Solar um, curtains. Trap the heat from the sun to cook it. Dry the fruit. Yeah, natural sultanas. Just to, ready to be shaken and put on the ground on those. Then they got put in the fruit bins. Sent off to the fruit company. So once this is all done, I should be um, yeah, get back into doing some more videos. Let's see if I can try and pop this energizer, a nine volt battery. I hope this is enough um, volts. Might not overcome what's in the battery, so only one way to find out. I think the battery has seven and a half volts or something like that left in it, so it's not really all that um, useful anymore. So let's pop it. In rush current, barely moved. Meter's barely moving. Okay, I think I think my best um, plan of attack is to use the old arc welder. Can't beat that to pop batteries. This thing is just not powerful enough. No. No, not powerful enough. Unplug safety first. Let's see if I can... Yeah, it's warm. I'll test it with a multimeter, see if it actually charged it. Alright, that was AC, not DC, so let's see if you've done the bit. Put the multimeter up. Undo these cables. Volts DC. Alright. It flattened it a bit. Alright, let's try popping something else. I have a 3 volt. Button cell lithium battery Toshiba. As for usual, safety first, especially when you're playing with MOTs. I put it straight on top of the unit like that. See what that does. See if 2kV at just under an amp is enough to pop it. Ballast it, of course. Inrush. Park to the transformer core. Yeah, about 9 10 amps there. Come on, battery pop. A lot of resistance in that battery. There we go. Safety first. That was a nice bang. Yeah, it did bulge out too. I didn't notice it bulging, so I had to be careful not to hold it down to give it some room to move so I could go bang. There you go. That was very interesting. Blue to seal. I don't have many of those batteries, unfortunately, so when I accumulate some more, I'll be using this method to pop them. Let's try something else. Oh, the horse, this is a nickel a NICAD battery. One of those. Taking the top off it and got into the insides. I'm going to see what happens if I put it on the high current transformer. Now, let's do it out in the ventilated area because uh, nickel cadmium is not really good for you. I'll get this all hooked up and see if it does nothing. It won't get a pop cut, so obviously ventilated. But it might boil and do all sorts of interesting little things. Okay, one's touching the positive electrode in there. It's like a capacitor that's wound up into a little, um, sort of like a two plates. And that white stuff's like paper that insulates between the two. Let's see how much inrush current we get. Oh, five amps. There you go, starting the sizzle. I'm wearing safety glasses, so just in case something unexpected happens. 
they're sort of destroyed the cadmium dendrites inside this battery. In other words, um, revive it. Mm, it's hot. Mm, that's one angry battery. Good thing the smoke's going outside. I don't have enough um, room to any long enough lead to this transformer. It doesn't pass quite enough volts to sustain the amps. <laughs> Move this a little bit. There we go. Burns away the um, other plate, so I've got to keep moving it. Power on. That amp meter is a little bit off too, so I'll probably be putting at least 7 amps max. I don't know what it's saying, 15 amps. It's only got one winding around the CT. But it's a Chinese amp meter, so you can't expect it to be too accurate. That battery is pretty much destroyed, so let's get the multimeter out and see if it's actually holding anything. Okay. Let's put the multimeter probes on this battery and see what happens. The right way. Not even a volt. No, even if it's dead short, AC is not going to charge a battery. 7.2 millivolts. That's one dead battery. Let's over ramp this circuit board, blow up some traces. Blew the solder off and the copper's just gone bang around where this um, electrode was touching. And it blew the copper off. I think the best way to do this is have a big capacitor. Oh, that's an STK IC by the looks of it. The one I popped in the previous video. It says STK396-130. Alright, let's see what other traces I can pop. Finish this board off. Between these pins. Big beefy um by there. There you go. Well we'll see that's not designed to handle over a hundred amps. Normally with some circuits I put loads and loads of stacks of solder all the way along the trace. It's a cheaper way to make it um, more current dependent instead of using a lot of copper. Alright, pop some more of these traces. This is junk circuit boards anyway. And it's only about 1, 2, 3, 4 volts so not enough to shock. Extra low voltage. Yeah. 
touch the solder, the solder just melts and evaporates. Let's try some more of these little traces here. A bit hard to get the camera to focus on here because it's a bad angle, but we'll see what happens. Okay, there you go. Popped right there. Nice bit of copper there. Took the etching right off the board. Let's try some more. There you go. Popped in two places. Almost ruptured there, but blew apart there. Let's try this big tracer here. No, bad connection. Pops a lot. Quite a significant spark for such low voltage. Yeah, blurred a tracer off the board. Let's try something else. Okay, have you ever got a mirror? Set the transformer on the back of it. Look at the voltage should be enough to penetrate because I can't already test this and yeah it seems to pass some um, electrical current so set that on there if it penetrates through here this um, paint on the back should make a nice effect on that mirror power's on Interesting. There you go. Break the glass. Glass mirrors are conductive. There you go. Lesson learnt for today. We'll learn something every day. The um, amp meter. Power off. Unplug. Safety first. Especially when you're working with mots because they're deadly. Alright, out of the way. Feel this. It got quite warm. So, there's definitely enough current in that little warning to kill. More than enough. Unplug that also. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Look at the etching on that mirror. <laughs> Modern art. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching.